In this video, we're completing example two. We're basically doing the exact same thing as we did in the previous video. We're stating whether something is a function or not a function. What makes this one different is we're purely focusing on graphs. We're going to be completing four questions. Here you can see questions A and B. On the next slide, we have questions C and D. Now I have a couple of dot points I would like to cover. So before we get into the example, I would like to show you these. There are a couple of really good methods we can use to check if a graph is a function. I've listed them below. Once I've taught you both of these methods, you're going to realize that these two methods are basically the same thing. Now to help you understand these methods, I need to apply them to an example. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take question A from example two. So we'll start with the first dot point. If your graph is a function, you will never find two or more points with the same x coordinate. Now I need to point out that we are assuming that the horizontal axis here is the x axis. This is not always the case, but I'm sure you'll notice that most often the horizontal axis is x and the vertical axis is y. So we're assuming we have our everyday x, y axes. Now you may notice that I've labeled two points on the circle below. I have 1 comma 0, 1 comma 0, and I also have 1 comma 4, and 1 comma 4. Why did I choose to label these two points? Well, you might notice that both of these points have the same x coordinate. And so by definition, this is not a function. Look at what the dot point says. If it's a function, you will never find two or more points with the same x coordinate. We've found two points that have the same x coordinate of 1. So why is this proof that this is not a function? Well, we need to remember the definition of a function. A function has no more than one output for each input. Now, on a table of values, we put our input values at the top and our output values at the bottom. Now, the input values are always taken from our horizontal axis, which is x in this case, and also in many cases. And our output values are going to be y. Now, for our input values, we select some values. We might start at negative 1, then 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Now, we're just going to focus on the input of 1. Looking at the two points, they have an x value of 1, an input of 1, and yet we have two different y values, two different outputs, one of 0 and one of 4. So we'll write that down. For our y values, when x is 1, we have 0, and 4, we have two different outputs. And by definition, a function has no more than one output for each input. This is proof that this circle is not a function. All right, let's look at the second dot point. The second dot point talks about the vertical line test being a quick and easy method to check if a graph is a function. So what is a vertical line test? Well, it basically involves drawing a vertical line. And you'll notice when I draw this vertical line at many points on the graph, you'll see that it passes through two points, especially this one here, which passes through the same two points that I listed before. So if you can draw a vertical line which passes through more than one point, in this case just two points, that is proof that it's not a function. Essentially, the second dot point is exactly the same as the first dot point. The only difference is in the first dot point, we list two points, whereas in the second dot point, we draw a line through two points. 
So let's get into the example now. We have been told to state whether this is a function or not a function. We know already that question A is not a function. We proved that earlier. Let's read the rest of the question. For those graphs that are not functions, just like question A, you need to give two points that share the same x value. Just a reminder, we are assuming that these are x, y axes. All right, so for question A, we already said you can list the two points, 1, 0 and 1, 4, because these are two points that share the same x value. And then we can say that this is not a function. In fact, what we'll do is we'll say that these two points prove that it is not a function. All right, now looking at question B, out of the two dot points that I shared, the one that I prefer the most is the vertical line test. I just find it quicker and easier. And when we look at this graph, if I draw vertical lines, it only passes through one point. It never passes through two or more points. This means that it is a function. So I'm going to write that, that it is a function. Right now moving on to questions C and D. Looking at question C, I can see that when I draw vertical lines, I only pass through one point. Although, there are times where I can pass through no points. You can see that here where we have a gap. Also over on the left hand and the right hand side, we can see that our vertical line passes over no points. So what does that mean? Well, by definition, a function has no more than one output for each input. So it's actually okay to have less than one output or to have zero outputs for an input. So this is fine. This is a function. You're just not allowed to have two or more points. All right, now let's look at question D. When I draw my vertical lines, you can see we are passing over two points. This is proof that it is not a function. In fact, we've labeled two points that share the same x value of negative one, meaning we have two outputs of one and three for our input of negative one. So we'll write that down, negative one, three, and negative 1, 1, prove that it is not a function. Anyway, that concludes our video on example 2. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.